what you are saying now that I will not say what I feel is good What you are doing now That I will not do What I feel is good <laughs> That is the only time the bad person will have this gene in the inside of him This meeting will be of no use to you No matter how wonderful the message will be If this first encounter did not take place It's the most important he to my life He to my life Come into my life Lord Jesus Come in to stay Come in to stay Come in to my life, Lord Jesus. One more time. Somebody say, Lord Jesus. I want to have this encounter. I want you to come in. I don't want to be so religious. I want Jesus. I want the gene, the gene of the Father. I just don't want to be religious. I want to have this encounter. If you are such a person, you can raise your hands. This is the one of the fundamental beginning part of this meeting. I can pray with you. If you want to raise your hands, raise it well. If you want to raise it, want to raise your hand, just raise it before the man of God will check. But raise it well. Look, we are talking of something very important. We are not talking of religious. God bless you. Raise your hands. That is the first thing. The man talks about G. G. You must have it. Until that gene is there, you are just being religious. You are just being religious. Please, if you are raising it, please raise it. We don't have the time. God bless you. 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 Please do it. I want to pray with you quickly before I usher in the man of God. We are not talking about religious here. We are talking about the person. We are talking about having the gene. We are not talking about going to activities, going to church, answering Christian name. We are talking about life. Life. That is our point of emphasis. Quickly, Father, we thank you for these hands that have been raised. It's a sign of acceptance. It's a sign of willingness. Lord, by faith, we ask that their request of their heart be granted. They are followed in this song. They say, Jesus, come into my life. They say they don't want con continual religiousness. They want to contact this gene to be born of the Father. Lord, let there be these transformations in their life. Even this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, this thing that has begun will only end at the feet of the Master. The journey will not be ended halfway. Grace to continue will become their portions. Thank you because I know you have answered. For our prayer is in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, like I told you, the, our brother is already here. And uh, we won't delay more to bring him in. So we quickly move ahead. I can hand the mic, mic to him to take over. Can we bow our heads? I want you to begin to ask God again. I want you to begin to ask God again for a visitation tonight. Ask him for a visitation. 
we are talking about godlike generation it is one of the ingredients that is lacking in our own time it's one of the ingredients that is lacking in our own time if there's anything we need in christianity today is a generation of christians that are like jesus father we ask that you will bless our soul through your servant tonight in jesus mighty name i pray amen praise the lord praise the lord lord thank you for sending your word across to us we ask that uh, as we build on the foundation laid give us an eternal and everlasting structure that resembles Jesus in Jesus Christ's name we have prayed Amen praise the Lord first Peter chapter 1 first Peter 1 First Peter 1 23 verse 23 being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of God which liveth and abided forever Amen. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. We will take the part two of um, what God began to say yesterday. The making of a God-like Christian, God-like man, God-like woman. So let's go for the making of a God-like Christian. God-like is not a big English. It's to have sameness, resemblance, to have the same likeness, to become a total typical carbon copy of our father that when people are too busy and too occupied to check to know how god looks like the person doesn't need to bother much but to look at god's children Are we together? Encourage me. Are we together? Now, um, let's go to Genesis. We'll come back to First Peter. Genesis chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 1, verse 17, and verse 25. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived. And there came and said, 
I have gotten a man from the Lord. Are you there with me? Talk to me. Are you there? Verse 17. And Cain knew his wife. And she conceived. And bare Enoch. And he builded a city. And called the name of the city. After the name of his son Enoch. Then. Verse 25. And Adam. Knew his wife. Again. And she bears son. And called his name Seth. For God. Said she. Had appointed me another seed. Instead of. Eber. Whom Cain. Slew. Are you there with me? Let's go to chapter 5. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made he him. Mm. Hallelujah. All right. Um, yesterday, I told us that to become godlike in threats godlike in power godlike in having dominion godlike in holiness, Godlike in characteristics, Godlike in insight and discernment. It is connected to gene. Supernatural specimen. Amen. Um, some time ago, I had an experience when a brother called me and said, Daddy, my wife had miscarriage. We are in the hospital. She desires to please have you come and just pray for us. I had the space. I was not uh, occupied. So we drove. When we got to the hospital, they showed me the what was miscarried anyway it was twins some weeks old or months that thing was completely shapeless just lumps of blood like that that had little little tears you cannot be able to say that these are human beings but they are human beings. But what I got as a shock was to discover that while they were shapeless, the head looked like a, a mango head that was just trying to form. Life was already in them. They were doing like this on the floor where they dropped them. And I said, okay. It is not even when you have a good shape that you have life.
the form may not be too beautiful. But what makes you a human being is life. You are not getting it again. What I saw was completely shapeless. But I saw life in them. Now, let me connect it to Genesis chapter 4 that we read. And Adam knew if his wife Do you know, in biology and in human language, we can call this carnal knowledge. I was listening to the news and they said a man of 45 years was arrested for having carnal knowledge with a little girl of 15 years carnal knowledge is that clear now in the realm of the spirit it is not called called carnal knowledge it is the specimen of the knowledge of the holy Adam knew his wife and conception took place. You are not getting my point? Ah, you are not getting it. Though. Adam knew his wife. So what happened? Eh? If conceived and bare gain. Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare children. Are we together? Adam knew his wife again and she conceived and bare said. Let me tell you the message in one sentence. Oku, Oku, Kachineke Jamuma. Excuse me, what did I say now? No, say what I said now. Are we not Igbos? Eh, why are you why are you trying to pretend as if you you did not hear me? Oku. And that's why I said it is the specimen of his word called the word of salvation. What did I say it is called? The word of salvation. There is no other spam no other. That's the specimen. Now, Paul, let me not waste your time reading much Bible. Paul said to the Corinthian church, he said, we are not of them that peddle, that water down the word of God. The implication is this. You cannot produce children with what respect. Is that clear? Anytime you meet a guy now, and he will ask you, what's the problem? No child. No, no, this is one year, two years. Baby is not coming. He said, okay, let's check your specimen. I'm using the natural. Is that clear? 
to share with all the uh, spiritual things. Let's check it. At times they will tell you that the counts, the sales, the quantity is not enough. You need to upgrade it. Are we together? On the side of the woman, they will be talking about how she ovulates. Make sure you are following me. The ovulation is the faith. If you are sitting down wanting to encounter God, are we together? And you are not ovulating. The romance at the end of the day will not give pregnancy. Nobody will get pregnant. Pregnancy in its originality is a burden. Anytime you come into God's presence, one, two, three, four hours, and by the time you are leaving, you are not bothered and you are not burdened. You encounter the watery spam. You see now, you are not following me. Number two, you did not ovulate. Your eggs were not ripe at all. So there was nothing to fertilize in the first case. Is that clear? And the fertilizer itself it's not correct. The man on the pulpit and the God he claimed to carry did not deliver. Okay. Um, okay, they said medical science tell tells us that uh, one okay specimen of the size of full stop is that clear carries hundreds of millions of cells Are we together? What they call cells is micro in nature. It will take the eyes of a, a, a scope, a, a microscopes, to be able to see them. Now, when you look through the lens of a microscope, is that clear? You see that in like little little threads little little thing like this they're doing like this they are alive oh. talk to me now of the size of full stop millions of them are inside there living organisms are we together when they are released Statistic wise, let's go for 100 million. 100 million human beings. That thing they are calling cells that, that is doing like this is a human being. Are we together? That came from the loins of the person that released it. 100 million people will enter into a race. Gri, 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 gri. One of them will overtake others and hit the egg. Is that clear? It clicks. 
God will say thank you, thank you, thank you. I've gotten what I'm looking for. Other ones will die. You're not getting the point. That's how you became a human being. No? That's how I became a human being. If not mercy and providence, I would have been part of those that did what? That died. Died uncelebrated. Died. Nobody even knew that anything died. This one overtook. And I'm just saying, who gave this one this kind of speed? So when I see some people that are trying to play big guys, big guys for God, you know, political juggernaut, they are doing like this. I said, because mercy gave you speed. Are we together? You overtook other millions and hit the egg, the formation began. You would have been dead like others. That's how all of us came. So originally, our origin is from God. Agreed? No matter your tongue, the tongue you speak, no matter the color of your skin, all of us are coming from him. Praise the Lord. That's why I am showing you the specimen of knowledge. Even though in human language, when a man lies with a woman, they call it carnal knowledge. Is that clear? Talk to me. That's why I am bringing it out like this to show you. When in the grammatical setting of King James, they said, Adam knew his wife. Why did they use that kind of word? Adam knew his what? His wife. And she conceived. In the spiritual sense and interpretation of it, it is not carnal knowledge now. Is that clear? It is knowledge of God. As I link, link it to Peter that we read. You remember first Peter? All right, let's go there again. Verse 23, chapter 1, First Peter. Being born again. Please, can you join me read the next sentence? Not of corruptible seed, but of what? Incorruptible. What is that incorruptible seed now? By the word of God. Which does what? Live it and abide it forever. This is God's specimen. Let me hear man. Second Peter 1 3 and 4. Second Peter chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. Are you there? According as his divine power hath given unto us what? All things that pertain unto life and godliness through what the knowledge of him that had what called us to what to glory and virtue this issue of knowledge is cropping up again adam knew his wife using spam god knew a man is that clear Using the supernatural specimen of what? Is what? Incorruptible seed is the name. Are we together? Now. 
Uh, okay, let's finish. Um, verse 4. Second Peter 1. Are you there? Whereby, what happens? Are given unto us. What? Exceeding great and precious promises. That by these, by this great, exceeding great and pre uh, precious promises, you might be what? Be partakers of what? Of the divine nature. Divine nature. Did you notice divine power? Talk to me. In verse 3. Look at verse 3 again. Did you see divine power? Eh? In verse 4, what again are you seeing? Divine nature. Alright. God-like generation. I was called to talk on a dominion in a conference and uh, we were looking at a uh, dominion from the angle of uh, the life and ministry of Adam. We began to look at Adam. We just saw that when God said to Adam have dominion over all the fowls of the air every creature in the waters and the creatures in the bush domestic ones and wild ones those era there was no wild anything are we together talk to me god said rule over them and while we were looking at uh, adam we just saw that Dominion is to be completely in charge. To be what? Say it very well now. To be completely in charge. That's dominion. Adam was completely in charge. He controlled hippopotamuses as large as they were. He controlled elephants, their wives and Husbands and cousins. He controlled giraffes. Giraffes. He controlled baboons, monkeys, chimpanzees. Mighty, massive, powerful animals. The man was in charge. I hear me. He controlled scorpions. He controlled mosquitoes. He controlled cockroaches and rats. Cockroaches those years and rats couldn't eat Adam's bread. There was no uh, rat gum. You know rat gum? Talk to me. Those years there was nothing like gum for rats. He controlled anaconda. Somebody was sharing with me in Abuja. How a friend of his told him soldiers that were posted to a checkpoint and they were there. One of their colleagues announced to the others that uh, He's pressed and he needed to ease himself. So he dropped his gun and went into the bush to ease himself. One hour passed, two hours passed, the colleague was not coming back. By the reason of their training, they knew that something was wrong. So they cocked their gun and entered into the bush and they were just spying and navigating and searching 
to be sure that the enemies are not coming what happened to our colleague they now go to a place and saw that anaconda have swallowed their colleague the last thing they met was his military boot in his mouth anaconda were there those days they couldn't swallow it up are you getting my point you know we are talking about god-like generation are we together talk to me fine this man was completely in charge the way god was completely in charge those soldiers in anger emptied the bullets they had in the gun on the anaconda and then brought out their dagger and tore the thing and brought their colleague those years mosquito doesn't feed on blood they feed on nitre this thing that is inside flowers that bees used to suck is that clear that was what mosquito should be eating but the fall and the loss of dominion is that clear now made everything to revolt against man There was no police that time because there were there was no thief. No 419er. No court people. No polygamy. Are we together? Talk to me. No polygamy. No hospital because there was no cancer. No tumor. No barrenness. No rheumatism, no arthritis. Those things were not there. Adam was completely in charge. Let me hear, man. And then I asked them a question which I also want to ask you now. I said, looking at the man God commissioned to have dominion over these powerful animals, even vultures, eagles, hawks, kites, all you know all aha you know that big guy you know him now fine adam was completely in charge lions and their wives used to come around him every morning and then they are using their tail like this adam will be rubbing his hand on their head and he's saying how was your night go and try it today and try it today even the ministry of naming the animals you know you may cheapen it and think it was a cheap ministry it was not to name all the creatures is that clear give them their appropriate names <laughs> It, it was a very tasking tasking ministry but that man did it for god and if you check all the animals and the names adam gave them you will know that it is not this kind of nature that you carry that adam carried that time he carried another nature is that clear talk to me fine to be able to you know when vulture came and said i'm here he looked at he looked at that bird with his coat and said you are vulture if you look at vulture you will know that the person that gave that name to this bed is not an ordinary person when you look at lion does his name resemble him exactly 
Now the question I asked was, what exactly did God give to Adam to have dominion with? Because the man was completely naked. He had no boxer. Agreed? The man did not go to school. But the best scientist and the best academician today cannot compete with the kind of brain and faculties Adam carried. I tell you the truth. Adam had no shoe. Adam had no sandal. Confirmed? Adam had no house. No house. He was just living in a garden and was okay. But the man was completely in charge. You know what God gave Adam? Talk to me. The specimen of his divine nature. Let me hear, man. Before I press on, I want to ask a question. Do you believe that I am correct in what I'm teaching you. You see now, talk to me. Am I correct? Uh -huh. If I'm not correct, please be free to raise your hand and say, excuse me, man of God. No, 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 no. This is not Bible. I tell you the truth. We'll give you the mic. If you convince me that I'm not correct, I will repent. I will recant my teaching and agree with your own. Adam knew his wife, the specimen of knowledge. Talk to me. Talk to me. Adam was completely in charge. And we are now diagonizing and checking. We are seeing the specimen of what? Talk to me. Divine nature. Divine nature. That was what Adam lost when he became naked. He was naked, but he was not naked. I hope you are getting my point. He was not naked, though. When lions and hippos and crocodiles, alligators, chimpanzees, giraffes, when they come around, there is this thing that they will see. That's the glory of God. The Shekinah glory. That thing was like a garment around him. Adam had no money, so it was not his money. It was not his learning because there was no school. Confirmed? Talk to me. It was not his shoe, Italian shoe or whatever shoe. He was barefooted and barebodied and barehanded. But he was in charge because of this basement. Praise the Lord. Abba, praise the Lord. All right. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost, hallelujah, shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall what? Overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called what? Abba said very well. The son of God. Now we are touching the crux of the message. We are now touching it. The specimen of the Holy Ghost. The specimen of the knowledge of the Holy. Noted. Talk to me. The specimen of what again? Eh? Divine nature. 
noiseless but powerful you can't seduce god can you you can't charm god can you charm him talk to me can you deceive god no sir that's why that spaceman when it is in you i want to tell you you will see battles that you will not lose battle Hmm. You will see fights, but you will not lose the fight. Devil can throw anything at you. At the end of the day, you will still come up like this, a victor. That's why the word of God said, the righteous man can fall. How many times? Seven times. And still rise up. Amen. Now, let me rub more on the um, specimen of the Holy Spirit. Do you know Evangelist uh, Evangelist Philip? In Acts of the Apostles. Eh? Aha. The man. God used him to bring revival in Samaria. Samaria was shaking like this. God said. Your ministry here is over. Spirit, soul and body. The man entered the air. Is that clear? And traveled without visiting airports. The next destination of his assignment was where he landed. That's how God is. Nothing can become a barrier to him. Praise the Lord. Abba, praise the Lord. That uh, all your Brothers and cousins ran to Satan into occultism is not a problem to a man. Is that clear? That has been overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. The specimen. Um, one sister shared a story with me, a mother. She said she lives here in Onisha. One day a voice came behind her and said go and burn sacrifices. At the altar of my servant. And God mentioned my name to her. She has my, my number, so she called me. I said, Daddy, are you in town? I want to come. God said I should come. She came and told me how she had a voice. That God says she should born sacrifice. She did. Brought some cash. I was praying for her. I said, Lord, I don't know. We don't know why you said she should do this. But to every obedience, there is a reward. Now that your daughter has obeyed. Is that clear? Talk to me. Whatever be the reason why you are demanding for sacrifice. Step into her battles. Give her victory. As I submit this so-called sacrifice to the supreme sacrifice 
Jesus bought at Calvary. In Jesus' name, Amen. Three weeks from that day, she received a call from her daughter living in Lagos. I said, Mommy, I'm going to the hospital now to deliver. Please start coming. Are we together? She started preparing and called me and said, I'm going to Lagos for a move. I said, go where? By the time she got to Lagos and was calling uh, her son-in-law, they were giving her direction. She got to the hospital and met the daughter dead. Lying lifeless on a stretcher and they were and was being driven or pushed to the mortuary. The husband helpless was crying after the dead body of the wife. The baby survived. The mother couldn't survive. This woman was coming like this and then met the daughter lifeless and they've covered her. The son-in-law shouted at the mother-in-law and said, Mommy, see your daughter. She motioned at a, I don't know whether to call them the undertakers. I said, stop there. Collected the blanket or whatever and then yanked it off. The guy that was pushing that, he said, Madame, get away. He said, it's you like this that we get away. And all your uncles and cousins will forever get away. Abba, are we together? She looked at the lifeless body of her daughter there. And first of all, I said, Jesus, no! This was not what we agreed. She now stood there and commanded the spirit of death to leave the body. A woman that did not attend Bible college. You see now, you are not understanding. Are you understanding it? God-like in doing exploits. What do you think is in this woman roaring against death? Now, talk to me. Talk now. Was it her Hollandis? Okay. Was it her MTN scarf? You see, you are not talking to me. Was it the pomade she robbed? What was that? Eh? She knew something. She's coming from a romance and is pregnant. Talk to me. She came from God's womb. This one is born again with the incorruptible seed. Can I hear, man? And the divine nature is there. She cannot quote all the Bible, but she knew God of the Bible. Abba, are you getting the point now? So she stood there. And then uh, she told to the son in law said, Where is my child? They brought they went and ran and brought the child, a baby boy. She grabbed the child like this. She was sharing it with me now. And slapped the dead body of the daughter and said, Why are you lying there dormant and they're carrying 
you to the mortuary. Who will take care of your baby? Come on, get up and carry your baby. The leg of that lady did like this. Did like this. She started speaking in tongues. And she has handed over the work to the Holy Spirit. She was pacing up and you know of her. She said, Daddy, it is good to obey God. When the Lord said, Run, born sacrifice. Are we together? God did not give details. Excuse me, God does not owe you details. Sir. Any instruction you hear, run and do what? And obey. Stop demanding for details. The legs started shaking like this. That was when the spirit came back to the body until the spirit normalized. She opened her eyes. Still on the stretcher. She shouted, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That woman raised the dead. I have not raised the dead myself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then she rolled her eyes and rolled her eyes and said, mommy, when did you arrive? He said, that's not the question. Get up. Get up, get up. She handed over her grandchild. Grabbed the daughter and called the person that was pushing, pushing the thing. He said, you enter there. They push you there. You see now? Praise the Lord. Talk to me. Praise the Lord. For whatsoever is born of God. What does he do? <laughs> if his gene is there, the gene of his knowledge, I think you are beginning to get it now. Talk to me. Adam knew his wife. Praise the Lord. Cain came out of that knowledge. Can I be sure? Adam knew his wife again. Said, did what? Came out of that knowledge. Cain knew his wife. Several seeds that resembled Cain did what? Came out of that knowledge. I said, that's carnal knowledge. Is that clear? But in the case of God, it is not carnal knowledge, but knowledge of the holy. For them that do know their God shall do what? Shall be strong. Shall be strong. When you know that when one door closes, what happens? Another one opens, you will not fear sack letter. When you know that God can make a way where there is no way, you will not fear sack letter. And because you are not afraid of sack letter, you will surely raise the banner of righteousness there and damn the consequences. Can I hear me? Yeah. This is the kind of, or these are the kind of Christianity that is lacking in our time. Our children cannot stand eyeball to eyeball with agents of darkness. They are afraid. We were in a, a, a fellowship the other time. <laughs> one, one mother and uh, the husband came out to share testimonies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, brethren, help me. Join me. Thank the Lord for what God did in my family. I and my husband, we left the house and left our four children. Our four children... The last one was, uh, I think, around uh, four years. Uh, the other one, uh, maybe six. 
like that, like just little, little, little children like this. And the house help, one big house help that was living with them. They entered their car and drove away. Is that clear? That day, the girl went and locked the door, gathered these four children, sat them down, and began to preach marine spirit to them. How beautiful marine spirit is, how the spirit will give them biscuits and buy aeroplane for them. You are not getting my point? I was just advertising hell, advertising hell, negotiating these four destinies to carry all of them as a token to the spirit in the waters in the absence of the parents. Unfortunately for her, God was hiding inside those tiny, tiny vessels. What their parents via the word of God deposited in them resurrected. It was the youngest one that actually conscientized and sensitized the elder, elder ones. That one stood up. The specimen of God in him stood up. He looked at his elder brethren and saw that they were under this lady's bed and said, call the eldest one, the other one, and said, and teach his budget. Excuse me. God can hide in a little child. You see, when I look at our young, young, young boys and children like this, it looked as if it is impossible for God to use them. Our children are so cheap and cheapened that demons of social media can buy them. Are we together? Ordinary ice cream and fried rice. Our little, little girls are falling. In the beginning, it was not so. And I know why it is so like this. These ones are product of low spend counts. Excuse me, what did I say now? Say it, my friends. Say it very well. No, 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 no. The specimen is not original. And cheese project. The thing hit all of them. Auntie chuckled. Auntie was afraid. God was hiding there. All of them stood up and surrounded Auntie. Deliverance began. In the name of Jesus, Gaya. Gaya. That's all. In the name of Jesus, Gaya. Gaya. And fire came on that girl. The girl was shouting. The girl was tearing her clothes. Moving like this, nobody was in the house except them. They surrounded her. Fire from here, fire here, fire here, from the four corners of the earth was on that that beast there. Get out and touch them. Get out and touch them. Get out. And she was out. She said it's okay. They said no. When they saw that the fire was working, they increased the <laughs> the temperature of the fire and said, "Get out and touch." There was nothing else. Just in touch them. And the thing was powerful. You see, don't laugh it away. All of you that are young here, I'm just telling you that God can use you. Can I hear me? But you have to be born of God. Praise the Lord. Talk to me, praise the Lord. This meeting is like bedroom of romance. If you allow your faith, you will just discover that out of this romance, you will be born again. Let me hear, man. This man became pregnant with his team in the place of prayers, hoping that 
by reason of the romance they had with God, not a king, but an Eber, a Deborah. Can I hear me? A business tycoon, godlike. What did I say now? An academician, godlike. A nurse, godlike. Praise the Lord. We come out of it. What we are doing here, what he did before I came up, is just to travel. Something just saying, Bosh! Somebody in this meeting must get born again. We can see his head coming up. Bosh! That's what I'm doing now. At the end of the day, a general is born. I want to hear, man. Somebody that used to be wrong in ministry will take correction. Is that clear? Righteousness is what? Born. Oh no, encourage me. Righteousness is born. A man that used to be proud is now humble. Let me hear, man. By reason of this man's romance with God in the secret before this meeting. This is just a level room. That's the way it works. The lady was shouting at the top of her voice, shrieking. At the time, she fell. She scattered things in the house. Neighborhood. Who knew and saw that the parents drove off, ran to the door, and they were knocking. Open the door. What is happening to you people? One ran to the door. Three concentrated. Is that clear? When the neighborhood entered, they saw Auntie naked on the floor. Shouting. It's okay. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. That little one announced to the neighborhood and said, Auntie is for church. So they should not bother what is happening here. When the spirit left, that little boy knew. I'm going, I'm going. I won't come back again. <sighs> he descended. it. That little thing descended. it. And told the brother and said, the thing is gone. The thing is gone. Angel said, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. Let me hear, man. Imagine the Holy Ghost overshadowing you in your business. Your barren business. That's what you need. You don't need charm. You don't need concussion. You don't need to visit Babalawo to make it in life. You don't need to join the court. You don't need to kill your wife. You don't need to kill your children. You don't need to shed blood. Let me hear, man. Better, better, man. All right. Uh, look at the other side of the unholy spirit. Unholy spirit. We were having a business uh, conference for um, businessmen and women in the work we do. I was there. One young man shared with us, the brethren, that he was part of Yahoo before Jesus met him. He's born again now. He told us many stories, but I will share one with you. He said one of his friends needed to add plus. Because I was telling them in that conference, I said, James said, body with our spirit is dead. Am I correct? Talk to me. Body without spirit is what? Is dead. I now said, business, businessman, businesswoman that is subtracting spirituality is dead. The other side that are making it they know that everybody body needs what spirit
spirit to be alive. You are not getting the point. Talk to me. That's why they pay prices which many of you are not ready to pay. On the side of righteousness. Ordinary quiet time, you don't keep. To take your Bible serious, no. These people, they go extra mile. That was the message that came. And then the stories began to crop up. That young man said, Daddy spoke well. You have no added spirituality to your business. That's why these people, they know that ordinary Yahoo won't work. What did they add now? They add a plus. That plus is spirituality. You need to strike your root to a particular altar and then get connected to one cruel, wicked demon that will oversee the business. Body without spirit. What did I say? He said, These ones will convert your shop to a place where they come to play Ludo. When their customers lessen, your shop will be a place where they come to play Ludo. You don't know Ludo again. Talk to me. They <laughs> say, Faster, faster. I can come and behave. Are we together? When they finish doing their businesses and making their sales, you are not making anything because you don't know the body without the spirit. What happens to it? I tell you, it's dead. You must add spirituality to your ministry. Before your mantle can be sharp, your utterances will be sharp. And ministry now is highly competitive. I tell you, go to net now. You see the competition. Who preaches the best Rima? See where men are competing for Rima. Me, I'm not competing for Rima. I'm not there. God did not call me to make competition with the Rema people. You know what I mean? Who talks Rema best? No. You may not know that uh, some people that come to sit around you in your church, in Sunday service, they are sitting there because the original role model is living in Abuja. And does not have branch in the navy. That's why they come to patronize you with five five naira. Oh no! Are you getting my point? You are you are not their pastor. You may think that you are pastoring these people. You are not their pastor. See the thing you are talking. You are not upgrading at all. The thing is highly competitive. You need to do something about your sleep. Oh. You need to discipline yourself. You need to add plus. Are we together? To your calling. Back to my story. This young man said, one of his friends became desperate to make it in the Yahoo something. Hey. And he said, he went somewhere and they discussed and he did some other things, maybe that involved blood. There was a way he said it. But the main issue uh, is what they told him to be doing, to be servicing the plus so that it will remain effective. You know what? The author gave him one of their girls and said, this one will be your girlfriend. You don't pick another girlfriend. She will be your girlfriend. Every month, she will be donating her menstrual flow to you. You'll be eating it with bread. They there now. So when you see them on Venza, you see them on Venza. You don't know that there is plus in it. Abba, are we together? If these people can pay the negative plus, what stops us from paying what? The positive plus. This is where we are losing out 
in the battles of life. They're just trying to, you know, you, you try to criticize them. No, Gwego. No, Jabani. Jekin wa jini keta mi je jenke. Ebe fa Jabani je. Potanu je aliane vivien. Confirmed? Yes! They travel in the night. They are darkness themselves. They walk with the devil. You, you walk with who? Imagine this guy, you know, pulling bread like this and he's soaking it in that thing as if it is egg sauce. And he's eating it. The remaining one, she, he will lick it. Every month, she will be donating that. Thing. Even the girl herself can't lick that. Thing. But this guy licks it. All of us did like this that day while he was sharing it. He said, These are just one of the things people do. I am sure, I am sure, if I stop here now, the Lord has spoken. Talk to me. All right. Ephesians 3.19. Ephesians 3.19 Is that 3.19 now? Yes. And to know the love of Christ. Hmm. Praise the Lord. To know the love of Christ. Which passeth what? Knowledge. That you might be feared with what? All the fullness of God. Being feared. With all the fullness of God. It takes extraordinary discipline to constantly submit your vessel for fresh infilling. I am a preacher myself. I'm a Christian. I know it takes some common discipline because of the attendant distractions. Busy, 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 busy ministry can siphon a man of God. Is that clear? And you are empty, and people wouldn't know. They will still be gambling for you. But the Holy Ghost will not keep quiet. He will keep telling you that you are empty, you are empty, you are empty. And be feared. <laughs> I went to preach. I don't know why the people did it. They checked me into the hotel. And they said, Daddy, some years ago, we brought a man of God to talk to us. We checked him into this room. He fornicated that day. And I was looking at them. I said, who made him fornicate? Why did he fornicate? He said, he came to the hotel room as hostage. Coupled with fatigue. I hope you know fatigue. Senior somebody before tiredness. Ah, you don't know English? You don't know fatigue. Eh? When you are fatigued, you are three times, four times tired. Do you know why? The man of God has been coming from program to program to program to program to program. To program. No time to refuse. So he dropped on the bed. You know, if, if you see the things people do in hotel, you won't like to sleep in hotels. At times I used to 
pays soit pendant one or two, three minutes to purge the environment. In fact, we lay on the bed. The man fatigued, dropped on the bed. His host left, he locked the door. And then dozed off. Mighty dog. In the realms of the spirit stood up from that bed and put up a fire. He wrestled with the dog and the dog beat him. He woke up. Knock, 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 knock. Waiter. Waiter. One of the girls in the hotel. The poison, the rabies from the dog was still fresh. He opened the door. It was a girl. He locked the door, grabbed the girl put the girl on the bed and the girl was also willing. They collected his mantle. What happened to me? What happened to me? Who did this to me? Jesus. I came to Lagos to drop my, my mantle. Hard end mantle. Resistant power was no longer there. It was not God's will. It was lack of discipline. There is nothing bad in saying no to meetings when you are sensing emptiness. Am I correct? There's nothing bad there. We are pretty happy, yes? If you fornicate, they will give you back to I hope you know. The same people who invited you, we trash you. Vehicles that supply fuel, does it need fuel? Talk to me. Uh -huh. You need fuel. Being filled with the fullness of God's specimen. Fullness of God. What makes God God? What makes God God? Dwelling in me like this. <laughs> First John 1 3. Can someone help me read or help us read? Somebody. First John 1 3 6 7. Under the mic, please. Yes. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. Fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. Yes, sir. If, if we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie. Mm. And do not leave out the truth. Mm. Are you true, sir? Thank you, sir. I'd like you to note, if you are making note, the specimen of true fellowship. These are the things that, when they are in you, I want to tell you God like traits, God like characteristics, God like actions and lifestyles will be flowing out. You don't struggle. The thing will be flowing. It will be flowing through fellowship. The specimen of true fellowship. I think you are noting it. Talk to me. The knowledge of God noted. Talk to me. The divine nature noted. Ah, you are not talking to me at all. Noted. The specimen of the Holy Ghost. Noted. Fine. The specimen of the fullness of what? Eh? Of God in us. And then the specimen of through fellowship. Praise the Lord. Talk to me. Praise the Lord. One man. <laughs> one uh, 
in my town, my hometown. One aggressive madman handcuffed hands and legs like this. One hot afternoon, a cousin to the traditional ruler of our community, the madman. Everybody in the community, they know that this man is mad. This one is not packaging. You know this church, Assemblies of God. Talk to me. Fine. One Assemblies of God, one small Assemblies of God like that. The local pastor there had God in him. He used to gather some local mothers around and some village ladies to pray once a week. They were inside the church praying. Pray. The madman walked into the atmosphere spiritually. What they were doing inside that room carried a radius themselves didn't know that they have stretched out a high tension glory outside the room. The man entered into the tent and started staggering. And they started shouting. Fell on the ground. When they heard noise, the pastor ran out and saw the madman, well-known madman, crying, crying, shouting. They surrounded him. And then started casting out the foul spirit like that. The, the foul spirit started roaring that he will not go. They say you will go. They cast it out. The man became normal. True fellowship. You see, you are not getting my point. Are you getting my point? That's what the devil is trying to do. He labored to do it through COVID-19 to scatter the coming together of what? Of the brethren. You know what they were saying that time? They say you can be alone in your house and you can and, and worship God there. Am I not correct? Talk to me. Satan knows the power the benefits on when brethren gather together and there is a true what? Fellowship going on. Anything good can happen. See how this man walked into that kind of atmosphere and became delivered. They removed the chains, the handcuffs, barbed him, went and bought food for him. He ate. They bought clothes, changed his clothes. The traditional ruler let her marry for him. He married and began to produce children. His generations are still living today. When the traditional ruler returned and heard the news, he said, call the pastor for me, call the pastor for me. The pastor and his uh, little, little deacon and deaconesses went and stood and then they said, his highness, he said, are you the one that they... Uh, Prayed for my cousin and they said yes. They, the man said, name what you want. What do you want? They said, we need land. Where we are is too small. The man said, the Adjofia, evil forest. Talk to me. Can you be able to take it? Can you go there? They say, Igwe, we will get back to you. They ran away. I wonder why they ran away. You see, you are laughing. That's how God works. Every evil forest. Is that clear? It is the kingdom of God, the nature of God, the power of God that will remove the evil forest and make it a city. Confirmed? Today, cathedrals, today, cathedrals, where once what? 
Evil forests. Our fathers and mothers carried nothing else but divine nature there. And they were just cutting the grass like this. And they were singing some hymns. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Mas okay, cause you're saying they go to Bukulisi match. That's how they conquered evil forests. With divine nature. Can I hear me? Oh no, can I hear me? Whatsoever is born of God can conquer evil, evil forest. This man forgot that the same power in him that delivered a madman from madness can also give him evil, evil forest very massive land they ran away roman catholic are we together talk to me that the reverend father that does not carry anything that this man carries entered there they have conquered that land now that assemblies of god is still inside that one room today one room They have not come out of it. If we didn't see them again, the Catholics came and, say, and said, If we can we take that place? If we said, I wanted to give it to Assemblies of God, I don't know why they ran away. You go there. If you come to my town now, you, go, you come, ask me, I will show you the place. That place is more than 30 plus. More than 30 plus, almost 40 plus. They entered there, splashed holy water. You know what I mean by holy water? Talk to me and possess that place. Let me hear, man. Now, did you get anything from what I said? Talk to me. All right. With the power of God, the nature of God in us, we can confront the dragon, we can confront the dead gun, even the dead goddess, <laughs> with the nature of God in us, we can turn to flight the armies of the aliens. You remember I shared some stories with you? You remember? Talk to me. Fine. They are true stories. I did not share anything that uh, God did through me. I shared things that God did through people. A local market woman raised the dead. You heard me. A local market woman raised her own daughter back to life. A local pastor in the village, God was hiding there. Delivered a madman from his madness. The man got married and produced children. Little, little children who carry the nature of God, born of God, are we together? Delivered their aunties. Aunties for church. And they cast out that devil. I did not tell you anything that God did through me now. It's about people. And I want to draw the conclusion here. Can't you see that this is not time to watch Bono? Are we together? It is time to shut down network. It is not time to sag your trousers and be walking like this. It's time to gather your feet and walk like a human being. Are we together? It's time to dress well. It's time to talk well. It's time for you to mind the kind of music you listen to. I saw one young boy 
one evening like this i got down from my house i was going out to preach he was doing like this with an earpiece here and there he was doing i knew he was he was into something to so doing like this doing like this i said boy excuse me say pastor, pastor good evening they don't like me at all you know why i disturb them with the gospel pastor good evening i said thank you let me listen to that thing he pulled them out i put it in my ear what i heard was he believed a guy number that number that number you know can you imagine and he was doing like this say guy 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 this guy till you go about guy now listen to me <laughs> and god is also waiting for this one i hope you know his generation also is what waiting for this one Look at what he is feeding his spirit with. All the destinies that are tied to his own destiny are dying and are going to hell and are saying, Lord, where is our Messiah? And God is saying, your Messiah is not even born again yet. I'm yet to know him. He's yet to know me. And Adam knew his wife. Cain came out of it. Let me hear man. Adam knew his wife. Abel came out of that knowing. Adam knew his wife. Seth came out of that knowledge. Why are you not understanding this message? You need to know God. Daniel brought a supplement. For they that do know their God shall be what? Strong and do explore let us pray it will be good if you can stand to help you also to stretch you've sat for so long you sat for so long why not stand and then try to stretch Stretch, stretch, so that we will pray. We will pray. There is this song we used to sing, God, Hallelujah. 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 Pianist, wait. Please listen to me. I was called to preach in a meeting. Seven days meeting. Please listen. Somewhere in our quarter. Some other men of God came before me. I went, I left. Another man of God went to conclude. The last day of the meeting, the other man of God concluded. In the night, our host called me and said, Man of God, 
they've just kidnapped my wife. I said, Jesus. What happened? He said, the man of God, this man of God left now. And then we were driving and going back to my house, gently driving and we were just discussing and sharing among uh, ourselves, myself, my daughters, and my wife about what God used that man of God to do that night. A vehicle was flashing lights from the rear, from the back. At the time, he said he felt maybe we are blocking these people, so he steered away from the road. It was a bus. So then they drove and then barricaded him and came out. Himself came out and said, I am Reverend Doctor so 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 and so. He said he thought these are vigilante people. They said, We know you. We are not vigilantes, we are kidnappers. Everybody lie down. They lay down. They collected all the valuables, handset everything, and said, Who is your wife? Because all of them, you know, these, uh, these daughters, they don't fast. All of them were big like their mom. They didn't know which one is the wife again. They said, Who is your wife? The wife did like this. They said, Madam, stand up. She stood up. In the presence of the husband, they tied her eyes. I said, Reverend, we won't kill her. Just corporate. They took her into the bus and drove off. Every contact he made. Soldiers, he called, please, the, he called, said, go and settle them. Go and just try to negotiate with them. The woman let her return back. You know what the woman said? They struck in February. Those kidnappers said to them, said to the woman, Mother, we started coming to your church since November. November, December, January. February end. Is that clear? They struck. They said, when you get back home, tell your husband, the reverend, that you should stop bringing noisemakers to this church. I didn't know that kidnappers were sitting down in the church while I was talking. That's where we have fallen. Worthless spam. What did I call it now? You can't produce anything with this. It's a waste of romance and waste of time. Nobody's getting born again after your preaching. People are not dropping their idol. They are not dropping their pride. They are not dropping their yahoo. What kind of specimen is this? You know what they said to the mother? They said, we are cutting the price we wanted to collect into two. Because of the preaching of one man, great Namani. He said, that man dealt with us. His words were coming to our heart like arrows, but we have made up our mind. We must kidnap somebody. But we will cut the price. They said, tell your husband to stop bringing these, those noisemakers. Now, men of God are being called noisemakers. I, 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 are you sure there is no kidnapper here? Sitting comfortably the entire November. Are we together? Entire December, entire January, and some weeks in February before they struck. They said that they will contact me, the kidnappers. That they like me so that I will be praying for them. So that their businesses will be going well. Excuse me. The other side of it, I was excited. That the little, little things I said in that church that day 
made a circumcision. Are we together? Talk to me. Are we together? Another story. I won't waste your time just listening and then I'll be true. I'm traveling, traveling into more distant whatever than all of you that are here. This young man sells car. You know, car dealers. Talk to me. He was in our fellowship. I didn't know that uh, he was discussing with a man about one car like that. Car, I think around 5 million or 6 million naira worth of a car. The man sent a lot to him in the fellowship. He saw a lot. The man said, where are you? He said, in the fellowship, get the car from me. He said, no, I can't get the car until the fellowship dismisses. Okay, which fellowship? And then where are you? The young man went outside and was discussing with him. The usher said, we don't do this kind of thing here. He said, please, somebody wants to come here and all of that. I'm just giving him direction. Okay, the ushers tolerated. Then the man navigated and then came to the fellowship. I said, can I go with the car? The brother said, no, until the fellowship dismisses. Did you see the alert I sent? He said, yes. The brother even showed him. He said, all right. The young man sat and then listened while I was talking. He listened while I was talking. We dismissed. The young man gave him the car, car key. Because he came to the fellowship with the car. And then he entered and then steered and drove away. The young man was to go through commercial whatever now. I've seen a lot. I've sold the car. We will do other things later on. The man came back and said the alert was a fake alert. Do you know why I returned the car? He said no, it's because of what this man preached. The thing was fake alert. And he didn't know. He said because of what this man preached. The thing stuck into my heart. While I was going, something said, go back. You can't enter into this kind of atmosphere and take this car and go away and God will not fight you. He returned the car. I said, that's a fake alert. Oh. He said, your God is alive. Thank God you have this kind of pastor. We are going to pray. No more worthless pep. No more wet, watery quiet time. Are we together? We are going to take matters serious now. Agreed? Begin to pray now. I say, Father, please thank you. Begin with thanksgiving. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Open your mouth. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for sending your word. Adam knew his wife. I wish that God we come to know this ministry and mantle. And Abel's will be coming out of this mantle. Deborah, Esther, then. Samuel, Samson, John the Baptist, Nehemiah, Ezra, Adam knew his word. The specimen of, of divine knowledge. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me now. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. You need to check the kind of specimen with which they used to give birth to you. And you are like this. Why are you like this? What kind of specimen? Adam knew his wife. Cain knew his wife. Isaac knew Rebecca. Jacob and Esau came out of that knowledge. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. What has come out of you knowing God? What has come out of God knowing you? What? Can you show anything that has come out of that knowledge? I know God. I know God. Uh -huh. Where is the product of that knowledge? Adam knew his wife and Cain came out. Adam knew his wife, Abel, came out of that knowledge. 
Adam knew his wife and said, Come out. You know God. God knows you then. Where are the fruits? Where are the fruits of that knowledge? Open your mouth and pray. A local pastor delivered a madman. Not by might, not by power. But by what he knew. What and what and what the man got to know he know about God. That with God nothing is impossible. Open your mouth and let's pray. And say Lord. <laughs> let something begin to come out of this knowledge now. Out of this knowledge. Hello young boy can you pray. Say Lord I need to know you. Lord do you know me at all. And God knew great in the man yes. And what came out of it. And God knew what is your name? What is your name? Put your name there. Adam knew his wife. And something came out of, out of that knowledge. Eh? Since you know God, you knew God till today. What has come out of that knowledge? They that do know their God shall be strong. Do you know the capabilities of God? That when one door closes, another one opens. Do you know the capabilities of God? That with God, nothing is too hard. Do you know the capabilities of God? That one with God is the majority. Do you know the capabilities of God? That he can call into existence the things that are not even in existence via the instrumentality of his word. Do you know God like that? Adam knew if his wife. I wish that God will know you. Imagine God knowing you. God said, I know Abraham. I know Abraham. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, what is wrong with my life? Why is my identity missing? Why is my identity missing? Why, why, why? What happened? Ah, I know Abraham. He said, I know Moses. I speak to him face to face. And emancipation, emancipation, deliverance of the entire Israel was born. If anything is not coming out of your romance with God, out of your relationship with God, then, then something is wrong somewhere. You are not ovulating. You are not bothered. You are not burdened. Ah, what is happening in our time does not bother you. It does not bother you. It doesn't bother you. Why? It's just about yourself, yourself, yourself. What about your generation? Isaac knew his wife, Rebecca. Manua knew his wife. And the Samson was born. Knowledge. Siemens. Specimen. Fertilizer of God's word. Of God's nature. God's power. Open your mouth and pray. Man of God, please come. Yes. I owe these people prayers. I said it yesterday. I'm saying it again. But not today. Help me pray. God bless you. Just pray. Just pray once more. Just pray. Just pray. That whatever message is war that cannot formulate in your life. That cannot make any impact. The Lord will deliver your heart from it. O ye ke le ni gweno wa A ye ke ne gin na dati o chine ke Kama mi ye O ye ke le ni gweno wa A ye ke ne gin dati mo chine ke Kama mi ye O ye ke le ni gweno wa 
aye ke negi ke ne be ya chineke kama mi